Bill, to, uh, can I ask you a few questions? Well, okay, sure. We really appreciate you coming down today. Uh, obviously, uh, you, you have a, a mouthpiece and uh, people listen to what you say. What do you think we could do right now to really get Americans out on the street and to join this movement? What, what would you say to Americans who are going to be watching this on YouTube at this point in time and the, and, and, and the situation that we're in and the possibilities of this movement? Well, I think you're doing it. That's the most important thing is what you're doing. You just keep doing it. It sends a real message, I think, that people are in the streets because it's the only other way to get so your voice heard to make sure if you don't play the game the way it's been played with lobbyists, both in the sales the system, congressmen who are too to much influenced by lobbyists, corporate money the that influences technology. the politicians. This is the really the only alternative, so don't let them Amazon convince you to come inside, put on a suit, and hire a lobbyist. That's how you lose. This is how you win. So my congratulations to you. Based on uh, where we're at today, what do you think the chances are of this movement really uh, forming a solid foundation which will help this country and the world kind of restore uh, democracy kind of as we uh, hope it to be? I say the odds are 99 to 1. That it'll happen. Those are pretty good odds. They are good odds. So you're, you're pretty optimistic then at this point in time that this movement could really get some serious traction and garner uh, worldwide support? Absolutely. I mean, already the polls show that the people in this country are behind this movement. And that will translate into pressure on political figures to pay attention to it and its goals. And um, that's what is needed. I mean, right, we, we don't want to overthrow our system of government. We've already found out that it is the best system except for all the other systems. Well, I don't want to overthrow our system. I just want to make it work. You know, I, I, I'm for democracy. Oh my God, he's so handsome. I'm for democracy. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're all for democracy. We just would like to see it work the way it used to. So have we ever had a true democratic system in this country? You'd have to ask a historian, but I think it used to be more democratic. It certainly used to be more fair. Um, you know, I'm not against capitalism either. I don't think most people are uh, who are here. I think we are just for making capitalism regulated and equitable. more equitable. Uh, I'm not a communist. I think that would be a much worse option but all modern societies that work I'm thinking of governments in Europe that function more smoothly than ours that take care of those citizens they're a hybrid of capitalism and socialism obviously America is also we are full of socialist entities in this country. Even the tea baggers don't want to get rid of Social Security. They want their Medicare. They want their farm subsidies. They want their mortgages through the government. Uh, some, the bankers, uh, they certainly take more handouts than anybody. Um, but uh, it has to be done in a fair way, and it has to be done in a way that works for everybody, and capitalism has to be regulated. What, do you think there's any possibility that the Democratic Party is going to latch on to this movement, or is this movement going to become an entity of its own, in its own? Well, it's always a struggle to get the Democratic Party to do what's in their own best interests, yes. <laughs> which would be to, <laughs> to align themselves with <laughs> the majority of the population that that looks to them to be the champions of the people. Um, but again, if you stay here and the polls keep showing that the people are behind the Occupy Wall Street movement, yes, that will move the politicians eventually. Even though they've been bought and paid for? Well, they've been bought and paid for, but they also want to keep their jobs. But what? Public, public elections, I was just saying to my friend not five minutes ago, we need public elections. Of course, we got to get the money out of politics. Do you think that could be or should be one of our first and preeminent demands? Uh, sure. I mean, this, you know, I think a lot of demands. I bet you everybody in this crowd, <laughs> she's got a Let newsletter. Let prisoners out of jail. Right. No jail for pot. 
We, we, we have no dearth of causes here. Yeah, but I mean, it's, it's going to be important, important for us to, to focus our energies on some real critical things. You know, and it, and it seems like taking uh, big money out of out of the uh, the political aspect of, of our governing system could be an important step in a good direction. Absolutely, that's the root of it all. Is that the corporations own the governments, and of course they don't want change. They like things just the way they are, and. Uh, uh, somehow we have a situation where more people are out of work than ever and taxes are lower than ever but one of the main political parties every one of their platforms is about how we should tax the rich less yeah it's, what would you say about uh, citizens united uh, in particular I think it's awful yeah I think the Supreme Court has made so many terrible decisions and they're always always behind big business always siding with business against people People and uh, excited to learn about this that's of, of another reason why along, in a country where we only have two parties, you have to sometimes hold your nose and vote for the one much. that's you know, going to at least going to appoint better Supreme Court justices because that that's the key to a lot of things. So let's not forget that Obama did appoint two pretty good Supreme Court justices who were trying to swing the balance a little more back to the center. Do you think that we need a third party or additional parties in this country, or do you think that we can change the system from within the current structure? You know, I think the only way multiple parties would work in this country is if we had a parliamentary system, which we don't. You know, we don't have a system like the European countries, where that's where multiple parties work. We don't form coalition governments. So I doubt if we're going to get a, a page one rewrite of the Constitution to make that happen. And as long as we have the system we have, I think we're always going to have to live with this two-party system. Third parties historically only draw votes away from the party you actually are favoring. <laughs> which, which is a, a problem in its own. Uh, that is a problem in its own. But I think we have to, I think we have to <laughs> pick one of them to go to bed with. And then, and then one last thing, what would you, I think I already asked it, but what would you say to the people, how do we rally them, truly get them off their couch, away from the TV, away from American Idol, and out on the streets? Right. Um, <laughs> well, I, I think that's happening. You know, I think people are just fed up. Yep. And uh, look, Americans love convenience.